Good day everyone, my name is Ali and welcome to How the Body Works. Today we are going to talk about breathing and the respiratory system. Before we begin, I have included a link to a short YouTube video explaining how the respiratory system works. So, let us begin. We all know that we need to breathe to stay alive. We breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. But what is breathing and how do we breathe? Breathing consists of two phases or two parts. One, we inhale oxygen or as we say, we breathe in. And two, we exhale carbon dioxide, or as we say, we breathe out. You know that we all need our lungs to breathe. Our lungs are situated in the thoracic cavity, the chest cavity, which is here. We have two lungs, one on the right, and one on the left. At the bottom of our lungs, we have a thin sheet of muscle called the diaphragm. So at the bottom of our lungs, there's a thin sheet of muscle called the diaphragm. When we breathe in, two things happen. One, the chest expands, which means it gets larger. And two, our diaphragm moves down. When this happens, our chest capacity becomes larger, so our lungs can take in more oxygen. When we breathe out, our chest contracts or gets smaller, and our diaphragm moves up and pushes the carbon dioxide out as we breathe out. In my diagram here, I have, you can see, the diaphragm, which is the thin muscles here. When we breathe in, our chest expands and gets bigger. And our diaphragm moves down. Our chest cavity now becomes larger. So our lungs can take in more oxygen. When we breathe out, our chest contracts or gets smaller, and our diaphragm moves up and it pushes the carbon dioxide out of our body. My second diagram explains the same thing. The diaphragm moves down when we inhale and it moves up when we exhale to push the carbon dioxide out. Now that we know how we breathe, let us look at the respiratory system. What is the respiratory system? The respiratory system consists of a number of organs. Its main function is to take in oxygen and to expel carbon dioxide. The main organ of the respiratory system are our lungs. This pink colored organ here is our lung. You will notice that the lung on the right has three sections or three lobes. One, two, and three. And our lungs on the left has two lobes, or two sections. One, Two. The reason for this is that our heart is located on the left side of our body, so we need room for our heart. Heart is located here. And at the bottom, you can see our diaphragm. Now let's look at the parts of the respiratory system. 
us, we have our nasal cavity, our nose, and our mouth. Sometimes we breathe through our mouth and breathe in through our mouth, but this is not a good practice. Air moves from the nose into our trachea. Just before the trachea reaches the lungs, it is divided into two branches called a bronchial tube. Now, in my diagram, I have also included the diaphragm, the larynx, which is our voice box, and the phonics. The phonics separates the nostrils or the nasal cavity from the throat. Its main function is to ensure that the oxygen we breathe goes directly into our trachea and not into our throat. This front portion organ here is our trachea and it's not our throat. Our throat or epiglottis is located behind. Now what happens when we breathe? We take in air through our nose, this is our nasal cavity. The air passes through our sinuses, our frontal sinus and the inward sinus. The main purpose of our sinus or the main function of our sinus is to regulate the temperature and the humidity of the air. In other words, it makes the air comfortable for us to breathe. It is not too cold and it's not too dry. From our nostrils, the air moves down our trachea. And as you can see, just before the trachea goes into the lungs, it branches off into two tubes or the bronchial tube. Now inside the bronchial tube and the trachea it is moist and there are also tiny hairs called cilia. The main purpose of the cilia is that it traps germs and dust as we breathe so it helps filters the air before it enters the lungs. Now let's go into our lungs. From the bronchial tube, when it enters the lungs, it is further divided into smaller tubes called bronchioles. Now, at the end of each bronchiole, there are small, tiny, spongy air sacs called alveoli. Think about our lungs as a tree. We have the trunk, we have the branches of the tree, and at the end of each branch, we have tiny buds. Now what happens to the oxygen when it reaches the alveoli? The main function of the alveoli is for gas exchange. The alveoli, this is a diagram of the alveoli, what it looks like, it is covered with millions of blood capillaries. Now, blood capillaries are like tiny veins and inside these veins we have our red blood cells. Now oxygen from the alveoli enters of red blood cells and this goes through the rest of our body. Our carbon dioxide which our cells do not need goes into the alveoli, into our lungs and then we breathe the carbon dioxide out. The same process occurs in the tissues of our bodies. 
oxygen from our red blood cells enters our tissue in our body and the carbon dioxide from the body tissue enters the red blood cells the blood goes into the lungs and the lungs and we breathe out carbon dioxide so in summary the main function of the respiratory system is that it takes in oxygen and it gives out carbon dioxide we breathe into our nose the air oxygen travel from to the trachea into the bronchi then into the bronchioles and at the end of the bronchioles we have the alveoli the alveoli are where oxygen moves into the blood and carbon dioxide moves into the lungs to be exhaled and here we have how the respiratory system delivers oxygen to our red blood cells and thank you all very much for watching i hope this presentation helped you all to understand how the respiratory system works in our body and you are doing something new i will see you all soon and bye